Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see in case if any default of making payment, then what will be happening related to this we will see. I already told you on the very introductory class that if at all purchaser is unable to make any installment, seller or higher vendor is having full right to take back his asset. He has right to repossess the asset. Did you remember this? Now related to this we are going to see. Okay. Now default and reposition in the higher purchase system. Re default or reposition. In case if any default or reposition is there, two kinds of cases are there. One is when the vendor takes back complete reposition. Vendor is taking back complete reposition car purchased I could not pay third installment two installments I paid third installment I did not pay now vendor is having full right to take back my car so this is first case second case is reposition only part of the total assets part of the total assets suppose say I have purchased three cars I could not pay after second installment Vendor is going to take only one of my car, partly, okay, part of the total asset, not three assets he is not taking, he is going to take only one asset only, this is second case, first case is complete reposition, second one only part of the asset is repossessed by the higher vendor, both are different concepts, this concept will focus now today's class. Second one in the next class. Very easy. You understood so far what is higher purchasing method and how do we calculate interest, depreciation, how do we prepare the accounts, followed na? Same procedure, a small difference. I'll make you to understand. Just know I have done this problem. Just now I have done the homework. <laughs> now to save the time I have copied everything. Now just I'll explain it. Now the problem is just focus five minutes. X purchased a car from Y for one lakh fifty thousand. X purchased a car from Y for one lakh fifty thousand. Down payment thirty thousand. And rest of the amount in three equal annual installments. Installment amount is given? No. We'll calculate it. This three equal installments, annual installments with the five percent interest. Depreciation 20% on diminishing balance method. X paid first installment but could not pay the next only first installment he had paid. Then after that no payment. What happens? Y took the reposition of the car. Then he could not pay. Why he is having total right? So Y took the reposition of car. He took the reposition of the car. He spends 5,800 on car, means for repairing or anything, making renovation of the car. He spent total 5,800 and sold it for 80,000. He sold it. Okay. Now, show the necessary ledger records in the books of both the parties. First of all, uh, installment amount is not given. We will calculate that. Now, total it is cost is cost of the car. You can say in working notes, uh, calculation of, what do you say, installment amount. Cost of the car is here, 1,50,000. How much is the down payment? Down payment is 30,000. Now leftover is 1,20,000. This 1,20,000, 3 equal annual installments with interest. 3 equal, uh, equal annual installments means divided by 3. So 1,23,000 divided by 3. It comes to 40,000. So each installment, each installment amount is this much. How many installments? He already said 
three installments with interest with interest please remember this kind of problem already we have done now let's enter into the problem first in the books of x x purchased car okay x purchased car so in the books of x means purchaser in the books of purchaser we are opening wife's account and asset account two is enough two accounts are enough wife's account and asset asset is here car account let's focus on the wife's account wife's account is here whenever you are purchasing any asset so that comes on the credit side purchasing asset car account asset account it have to wife's account is the entry no so as per that by car account dates are not given so i have written first year by car account how much is the amount 150000 150000 is written here this is the asset amount credit side what do you write interest debit side what do you write installment amount and down payment amount you know this four transactions credit side asset interest debit side installment amount down payment now interest will calculate so before interest let's see uh, down, down payment down payment is here to bank account 30000 down payment is here 30000 we have written now we'll calculate the interest how do you calculate the interest 150000 out of 150000 down payment 30000 already paid so that you deduct it 150000 minus 30000 so you got 120 120 into 5% it comes to 6000 6000 is the interest now you make the first installment after calculating the interest because we have to pay first installment with interest where is this uh, three equal installments with a 5% interest so that is why first calculate the interest now coming to the payment first first installment first installment payment is to bank account uh, in, installment amount 40000 is the each installment first installment 40000 plus interest 6000 it comes to 46000 okay 46000 now close this first year credit side is more balance is carried on carried on comes to debit side to credit side second year he could not pay he could not pay but will calculate the interest interest on brought down as usual in the previous problems also we have done the same thing so interest on brought down amount interest how much 5% 80000 into 5% comes to 4000 when he is unable to make the payment then what happened higher vendor has taken over the asset mentioned here no why took the reposition of the car when why is taking this car then we'll say it as a two car account when we purchase by car when it is taken by why two car why has taken the entry is why second attached to car account because why has taken back reposition of the car by why why second attached to car account so we are writing to car account what is the amount 84000 of the amount of the car he has taken purchasing credit side taken back debit side simply this account is we have closed very easy now focus on the car account car account as usual whenever you are purchasing any asset you will say uh, to wife account okay to wife account car account debit side wife account how much is the cost 150000 the here car account only will be providing depreciation by depreciation how much 30000 we have provided carry down brought down second year though he could not make the payment will calculate the depreciation 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 on uh, diminishing balance diminishing balance means on 120000 20% we have taken okay and here Uh, this eighty four thousand is we are transferring to the car account. As per the wife account, eighty four thousand is transferring to car account, debit to credit. So I have written wife account transferred from wife account to car account. How much it is? Eighty four thousand. This is you know depreciation as usual. Okay, broader amount is this much. This is the amount actually, but. after deducting all these things we are getting a balance of 12000 12000 whatever you are getting balancing figure whether it may be debit side or credit side you are transferring to the profit and loss account 
डेबिट सैड वी हाव वन लाख ट्वेंटी क्रेडिट सैड वी हाव ओन ट्वेंटी फोर थौस एंड एटी फोर थौस डिफरेंस कम्स टू ट्वेल थौस दिस इज द बैलेंसिंग फिगर वेर डू यू गाट क्रेडिट सैड क्रेडिट सैड टू प्राफिट एंड लास् अकोट डेबिट सैड यू आर ट्रांसफर प्राफिट एंड लास् अकोट डेबिट सैड मीन इट इज लास् आर इन अदर वर्ड्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड लाइक दिस द कास्ट इज दिस मच आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग दिस स्टिल ई हाव सम अमौंट बट वी आर स्टेक इट मीन इट्स अ लास् लास् आफ ट्वेल थौस okay so in the books of x you have prepared wife account and asset account two accounts easy okay now in the books of y in the books of y we prepare only x account and goods repossessed account very easy to understand just focus x account is almost similar like y account only need not to buy hat x account is same like y account see Wife account, the credit side we have written by car. Now here we'll write it on the debit side to higher sale. This is in the books of Y. Whenever Y is selling, X account attached to sales account. We'll write the journal entry, right? So in the same way, debit side we have written. Now interest on the credit side, debit side interest. Here you have only two entries for purchasing the asset and interest. Here it comes only two entries. One is selling the asset and interest. Now here you have two entries on the debit side: down payment, installment, debit side. Here it comes on the credit side: down payment and first installment. See, same matching. Now we'll close the code. What we have written: debit side entries. Debit side entries are credit side, installment amount, and first in oh sorry this is down payment and installment debit side we have two entries one is purchasing the asset another one is interest carry down 80000 brought down 80000 same like this 80000 carry down brought down over now second year second year we have nothing to write only interest will be writing interest is you know already we have calculated 4000 interest 4000 we have written now how do we close this The total is eighty-four thousand. There, eighty-four thousand we have transferred to the car account. Now here we are going to just listen carefully. Now here we are going to transfer this eighty-four thousand to the goods repossessed account. Which account? Goods repossessed account. Transferring. Balancing figure is eighty-four thousand. We are transferring to goods repossessed account. Now we'll go for the goods repossessed account. Goods repossessed account. First, we'll start with this amount of eighty-four thousand from credit to debit. Okay, goods repossessed account. Here he spent some amount. How much is the amount? Five thousand eight hundred. He spent expenses. We'll write it on the debit side. Five thousand eight hundred expenses. Always remember, we'll say to bank expenses to bank five thousand eight hundred. He sold it. He took the position of the asset at the cost of eighty-four thousand, and he spent five thousand eight hundred, and he sold it for eighty thousand. Whenever he is selling, it comes on the credit side. Purchasing debit, selling credit side. By bank account, sale proceeds of eighty thousand. Cost is eighty-nine thousand nine eighty-nine thousand eight hundred, but he is selling for eighty thousand. How much is the loss? Nine thousand eight hundred. This is we have written. Eighty-nine thousand nine hundred minus eighty thousand. It comes to nine thousand eight hundred. This is loss. Loss will be transferring to the profit and loss account. By profit and loss account. In profit and loss account, we'll be showing loss on sale of car debit side. Am I clear? That's all very simple. I'll explain once again. First, take a screenshot. Simple, nothing to worry. Uh, Y's account we know four entries will write. Okay, second year whenever the default of payment that period brought an amount and interest you write. This amount will be transferring to the car account. Car account. Now when we open the car account, first year is simply you uh, purchase the asset and uh, depreciation provided. Second year also you are providing depreciation. Car account is here transferring from there to debit to credit. Now difference will be transferring to the profit and loss account. Here also I told you 
same entries same as it is only the thing is here difference we are transferring to the goods repository account their difference transfer to the car account car account here goods repository account goods repository account how do you open goods repository account started with the balance carried on from y uh, x account and whatever he spent that amount we have written and also sale proceeds the difference will be the profit and loss account we are transferring that's all simple goods when goods are completely repossessed this is the case you can take out your test book and work out many problems that will be easy for you to understand not only this problem this problem also i would suggest you to work out without looking at this notes practice it more times the more you practice you feel much confident and uh, next class we'll see only part of the asset is taken by the higher vendor as i told you i have three cars out of three cars when i could not pay second installment third or third installment higher vendor is having right to take back my asset he may take complete three cars complete three cars means this is the case if he is going to take only one car or two cars means part of the asset is taken or repossessed by the higher vendor that is second case we'll see in the next class stay connected check out the playlist and don't forget to share this video good luck